Good morning. In this demo, I'm currently showing how little sync deposit records are created in NQ as part of photosynthesis and protocol. After deploying CW20 at server, focusing our matrix frame tab to contract and setting contract metadata for these gaps, here are the important parameters of contract metadata owner address, reward request, minimum reward amount, the token interest, token interval, the quick stake interval, redemption interval, reward withdrawal interval, redemption interest. Redemption rate threshold, redemption interval threshold, vaccine threshold, after rewards for transfer address, liquidity provider address, liquidity provider commission, age of duration, age of recipient address, and age of vaccine period. Now, liquid say the important ones I'm going to describe. So, the liquid stake interval should be greater than the rewards withdrawal interval for each gap. Central earthquake staking interval should be further greater than the liquid stake interval for different gaps for doing a central liquid stake and its transaction to save gas fees. After deploying, instantiating, setting contract metadata for, for the contract, some transactions are done corresponding to cost of contract. This results in generation of rewards records. There are different epoch timers which are running in the system. One of them is liquid stake deposit, uh, liquid stake gap reward report. When a liquid stake interval for gap modular epoch number for liquid stake gap reward equals equals to zero, liquid stake deposit for the credit corresponding to gap reward address. Contract metadata of each contract is derived from contract metadata state. Yeah. So now there are different states which are uh, present in rewards module. One of them is contract metadata state, other is reward record state. So contract metadata state, state is a generated amount to uh, determine metadata parameters. Important one being reward address. Now, liquid stake deposit record consists of uh, the following the structure of deposit record is the following parameters. The contract address, epoch, amount, and the status of deposit record. Since so deposit record can be seen in the demo, deposit record is created for epoch number of the status of family. So for each contract, the reward record state is associated upon to determine the reward record for that uh, contract address. And this like reward record state is present in the reward in the reward, reward module. After determining the net rewards for that app, this is in the structure of the policy part for the contract address. The contract is the reward address for that app. After, like, uh, when the status market is pending and the policy code is created, it is enqueued that it serializes the keeper for that contract address. This slice of liquid stake deposit code keep on updating in KV store. So, the epoch number module is printed after liquid stake interval is equal to zero. At this point, enqueued deposit codes are iterated upon, markets completed, and cumulative liquid stake amount for under each of the app. Liquid stake deposit for and determine. After central stake, these records with status markets completed are cleaned up from the keeper while deposit records with status funding keep on accumulating in key value slots. 